So you want to be able to create fillable PDFs. Maybe you've already started designing something in Canva, but you're not too sure how to make it fillable. Maybe you've heard people talk about Adobe Acrobat, but you don't really want to work with Adobe software. You want something that's simple and free that's going to allow you to make fillable PDFs so that you can make workbooks and worksheets where people can actually fill it in there on their computer rather than having to print it off. So today I'm going to share with you how you can do this, how you can use Canva and a free tool to create fillable PDFs. So the first thing that you want to be doing is create your design in Canva. So here I've got a design already created and let's have a look at the pages where we're going to make it fillable. So this is where we'll have things where people can write in text. So we've got here, for example, we put lines. So you can just put in lines by going to elements and grab here under shapes a line. You can change the line width and the color of it. You can move it into position and drag it to make it longer. So you can just create lines and then later we're going to make them fillable so people can put text on those lines. Now the other thing that people could put text in is a box. So we've got here some lines, we've also got here boxes. So to create a box that people can fill in, you want to go to shapes and you want to resize that square. Now you can have it where it's just an outline like I've got in that example. Or if you wanted to, you could have it where it's just colored. So you could choose a soft color. Obviously you want something that the text is gonna be easy to read on. So you could have something that's a light gray or a light cream color like that to show that people can write in there. Or you can have outlines. So we can go here to border, make a thin border, so one pixel, make it a gray. And then that color there for fill, we can say no color. And that's how you'd create a box that's just see-through like that. So it's up to you if you want a colored box or a see-through box. Now also with these lines, if you wanted to, you could just create a really skinny colored box. So you could grab one of these again. Let's just say instead of that, we put this skinny box here and we make it a light color that text can go on top of. See like that and people could see too that that would be something that they could fill in. So it's up to you if you have an underline, a light skinny box or a light big box that people put text in. So we've got here a few different areas where people would want to fill it in and add text. So once you have created this and you've got your thing all ready to go, you then want to go to share, download and choose PDF standard and you're going to download it. All right, so once we've downloaded it, we want to go to a software called PDF Escape. So this is our alternative to using Adobe Acrobat. So you've got the option of the free online version or desktop. So if you want to be able to use it on desktop for Windows, or if you just want to use it free online. Now, if you're using a Mac like I am, you're going to have to go with the online one because this desktop one is just for Windows. All right, so now we're in PDF Escape and as you can see, this pops up getting started and it says here that if you have a file that's over 10 megabytes or over 100 pages, you have to upgrade and pay for this service. So if you do have a file that is under 100 pages but a bigger file, you may want to go and compress that. So you might want to go on Google and type in PDF um, compressor and go find something that you can compress that file first so you can get it under that size. But in the case of most workbooks, most of the time you're probably not going to go over that size unless you've got a lot a lot of imagery going on in it so it really depends but most of the time I think you're going to be fine with the free version so just something to keep in mind if you find your file is quite big maybe go and find something to compress it down first so what we're going to do is click on this upload PDF to PDF escape and we're going to drop our file in all right, so here is our file and then we're going to go to the pages where we're going to put in fillable pages. So over here you can see you can zoom in and out so we can zoom in so we can see a bit better and so we can really see what we're doing. And over on the side here we've got a few different options but what we want to use today is this one called form field. So when we click on that, we can see we've got a drop down here and we're going to choose text. Now, the other one you may want to use sometimes is checkbox and I'll show you how to do that. But most of the time you're going to be wanting this text one. So you're going to click text and select. And now you're just going to click and drag and place it in where you want to be able to put. So basically what you want to do is just go through and add the ones you want. Now for these ones, what you're going to get is a single line. So obviously this is great when we've just got this line, things like this one here or the line where we just need a single line of text. But when we've got one like this one, the notes where we want people to put more text in, we're going to need to make it more lines. So you're going to go to form field again, text, select, draw it in. Then you're going to click off the page 
and you're going to click back on it. Now up the top you'll see this appear and you're going to click on that little icon and you can if you want to you can name it and you're going to make sure you click on this one that says multi line and that's going to allow you to have the multiple lines of text now you can also put in here a max length if you want to if you want to limit how much text people can put in and you also want to make sure you have it left aligned because that's most text is going to be left aligned you may want it center aligned but i think most of the time you're going to stick with left aligned and okay and that's going to allow people to put several lines of text in rather than just one line across because if you don't do that they'll just be putting text in the middle of that box across the page and that's it we want them to be able to put several lines of text in so you make sure you do that now once you have gone through and you've added all the fillable sections that you want you just need to go to click this button for download and it's going to download your file and now you can open it up and fill it in so we can open it up now we can go to where we added those fillable sections so as you can see here on this page we've got the fillable sections we added and we can type in and as you can see here you've got multiple lines as we put in that multi line one so that's how you can simply and easily make your PDFs fillable completely for free without having to use any Adobe software so I hope this has got you excited to start creating those fillable PDFs. And if you'd like to be able to create other interactive PDFs and eBooks and things like that, we can click on things and make it flip book and things like that. Make sure you check out my other videos on these topics. You'll see the links above in the card and also down below in the description. So have fun creating. And if you'd like to learn more about using Canva, about graphic design and branding, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.